A spherical steel ball has a diameter of 2.540 centimeters at 26 degrees Celsius. Um, assuming the coefficient of linear expansion for steel is 11 times 10 to the negative 6, what is its diameter when the temperature is raised to 113 degrees Celsius? So, we have a diameter 2.540 centimeters. at 26 degrees so the initial temperature is 26 degrees Celsius and the final temperature is 113 degrees Celsius the T final is 113 degrees Celsius And we're asked to find the, the change in diameter when the temperature is raised to 113. And we can do that by using this equation here. Linear expansion, where delta L is equal to, or change in length is equal to the initial length times the expansion coefficient times the change in temperature. So delta L, change in length. equal to L zero A of T. So what do we have? We have we have the initial temperature and the final temperature, so we can calculate the change in temperature by taking the final, which is one thirteen minus the initial twenty six. We end up getting a temperature change in temp of 87 degrees Celsius. So now we have this value. We know that um, the coefficient of expansion, which is 11 times 10 to the negative 6. Our initial length is 2.540 centimeters. So plugging all this in, this could be L0. So plugging this in, we have 2.54 centimeters for the initial length times this, I'm not going to put it in there, times the change in temp, which is 87. Celsius. That's going to give us our change in length. So we type that in 2.54 centimeters times 11 times 10 to the negative 6 times 87 degrees Celsius. And we end up getting a value of 0 0.00243. Centimeters. And notice that this isn't the, the new length, it's just the change in length. So we're going to have to add that to our initial length L0 or 2.54 centimeters. We end up getting a new final um, length of 2.5424 centimeters. So the second part of this, um, this problem is asking what temperature change is required to increase its volume by 0.8%. So we have a change in volume, 0.8% or 0 0.008. That's going to be centimeters cubed. Actually, that's no, a percent. Never mind. 
So now we can find we need to find the change in volume and we can use this equation now that we're looking for volume we can use the change in volumes equal to the initial volume times beta or 3a uh, times times the change in temperature so Our new equation is change in volume is equal to the initial volume times 3 alpha for this value up here times the change in temperature. And excuse me, we're trying to find the temperature change, not the length change. So now that we have that, we can try and solve for delta T. And we have our alpha value. And <clears throat> we don't really need to find the initial volume because we can plug the change in volume in for V0 times 0 0.008. It's going to change by that much, and that's going to be equal to this side of the equation. And since we're dividing V0 back over anyways, it's just going to cancel. So, I mean, you can solve it, but it's going to be a waste of time. <laughs> so, now we have 0 0.008 is equal to 3 times our linear, or our expansion times the change in temperature. Okay, so now we have 0 0.008, we can divide 3a over. So that's going to be on this side. And we get 0 0.008 divided by 3, divided by 11 times 10 to the negative 6. You know, getting a new or the final change in temperature of 242 degrees Celsius.